I feel like this song is giving you bad advice because I don't, I don't think you're supposed to look at the sun. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin, and today we're listening to Jethro Tull with their song, Look Into the Sun, which I don't suggest, uh, off of their album, Stand Up, which was released in 1969. So I've been playing with this idea for a little while, and I would love to hear your thoughts and your personal uh, opinions on what I'm about to say. But how fun is it to think about a dream band, right? A dream band or a super group taking members of different bands and putting them together and kind of like talking about and discussing like what they would sound like and how cool it would be. And here's the rules for when you're creating your dream band, because I want to know your dream bands. Uh, you cannot use two members of the same band in your dream band or in your super group. So you can't use two members, for example, of Genesis in this new group. And you should at least have the main, you know, drums, vocals, bass, guitar. At least, you know, if you want to leave out keys or any other special things, by all means do so. Here is my dream band, uh, the vocals. I would actually have two vocalists, and this would be John Anderson of Yes and Annie Haslam of Renaissance. Uh, then handling the guitar would be Andrew Latimer from Camel. Bass would be Martin Mendez, actually from Opeth. Uh, and then keys would be by Tony Banks of Genesis. Drums followed and ended by Mr. Carl Palmer of ELP. I think that Annie and John would just have this amazing harmony together vocally. I really like the way that Martin Mendez plays bass in Opeth, and even when he's not playing metal, I just really like this deep and solid groove that he brings to the songs that he plays in, and I think that he would really help round out uh, the band. Andrew Latimer, fantastic and underrated guitarist, and I feel like his guitar playing would just accent all of the music so well. I chose Tony Banks on the keys because this man is such a, a creative genius when it comes to the intelligence of the keys. And he can play hard, he can play soft, he can kind of do it all. And I'd really love to hear what he would contribute to this band. And then Carl Palmer, drums. The man brings variety, the man brings ferocity and technicality. And I think he would have a really interesting influence in uh, the whole band. So of course, I want to know what your, your super band would be as well. Uh, we've talked enough. <laughs> Uh, you can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. Uh, let's do it. This is Look Into the Sun by Jethro Tull. And this is just one dream band. We can make more in one dream band. Pretend 
simple yet powerful ballad from Jethro Tull. Uh, what I really enjoyed about it, besides the whole thing, <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed the acoustic guitar and the piano and specifically the way that they worked and intermingled with each other. Uh, they set up a really good foundation between them and this whole song, I feel like this would be a perfect campfire song. And I say that with a lot of acoustic guitar songs, but like this would be a perfect campfire song. It's catchy enough, the verses are nice enough and full of meaning. It would just work to sit under the stars, sing this song, reflect on things. Also really stand out is just the bass work by Glenn. Um, he's always present in this song, but there's a couple of runs throughout that I'm like, oh, he's really there. <laughs> and of course, Martin on the guitar, we expect, you know, some awesomeness from him. But I really like how throughout the verses, uh, there's some moments where there's a little bit of space left and he peeks through with a little blues guitar. Just peeks through though, he, and he kind of comes, comes back down to earth. And then near the break, we get a solo of blues guitar. So that was a nice way of previewing it, a little bit in the verses, adding a little spark, and then later on, allowing that spark to grow into a fire. Ian's voice is very reflectful in this song, and his singing is very positive and uplifting, and, it, and it's also very hopeful. It's also very empowering, which perfectly matches with the uh, lyrics of the song, because I honestly wasn't quite sure what it was about <laughs> when, when I was first reading it. But the chorus, he says, So if you hear my sad song singing, remember who and what you nearly had. It's not easy singing sad songs when you can sing the song to make me glad. So when you look into the sun and see the words you could have sung, it's not too late, only begun. We can still make summer. Yes, summer always comes anyway. So finding the good things in life. Sometimes things may seem to have passed you by. A chance may have passed you by. I could have done this so many years ago. And if I did do this so many years ago, I would have been here now. But that time is, is now. Just because you missed an opportunity maybe a few years ago doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to miss another opportunity or that you can't go back and do something. For example, it makes me think of uh, David Oliveris, one of the uh, subscribers in the community uh, who is awesome, I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but during quarantine, uh, you picked up the guitar and painting. That's amazing, that's awesome. You know, to take the time you have and do something with it, to use it for something uh, creative, something that will benefit you you know, in your own, uh, in your own self, something that you want to do. I wanted to start a channel, so I started a channel, you know? And when I see the lyrics, when you look into the sun, for me, I kind of see it as looking at more of the position of the sun. You know, like for example, if you're looking at the sun and it sunsets, 
you know, the idea of the day being over, of chances being over. But remember, even though the sun is going to set and perhaps that specific opportunity is going to pass, <laughs> I don't know if you know, but the sun kind of comes right back around and a new day begins. So those opportunities are never truly 100% gone. Uh, some, some opportunities are. <laughs> I'm not talking about every single specific thing, but, but it's more of the opportunities that you make because chances happen more than once, typically, unless it's the lotto. <laughs> this is just a really nice laid back acoustic ballad. Uh, I enjoyed it. This is a perfect song to end the first half of the album on. Uh, before you would take that vinyl and flip it right on over. And what would we hear next? Well, we'll find out when we come back on Jethro Tull. Uh, of course, I want to know what you guys thought of the song. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Don't let opportunities pass you by. And even if they do pass you by, more opportunities will come your way. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.